This was the goal that made Diego Armando Maradona. A spectacular 60-meter weave through five English players. In 2002, it was voted the best goal in World Cup history. But there was another goal scored only minutes earlier with his hand that made him an instant football legend. The hand of God, he cheekily called it afterwards. But the referee hadn't seen the foul and allowed the goal. Argentina went on to win the World Cup in 1986. Born in a shanty town outside Buenos Aires, the footballing legend was only 10 when his talent was spotted. At 16, he started his professional career, playing for Boca Juniors in Argentina before setting Spain and Italy alight with his skills. But 15 years on, some of the shine was taken off his glorious reputation when Argentina lost the 1990 World Cup to West Germany. Less than a year later, Maradona was suspended from football for 15 months after failing a drug test for cocaine. He was sent home from the 1994 World Cup after again testing positive for drugs. In 1997, Maradona retired from professional football and has since been blighted by ill health and weight gain. In 2004, he had to fight for his life after a heart attack. In retirement, Maradona also became more outspoken. In 2005, he joined a left-wing protest train outside the Summit of the Americas, denouncing the presence of then-President George W. Bush. It's a great honor to be an Argentine and to board this train to condemn this piece of human trash, George W. Bush. In 2008, he made an unlikely comeback as Argentina's coach after having inspired an entire generation of players. I'd love to play again, but my time has passed. But after a quarter-final exit at the 2010 World Cup in South Africa, Maradona was ousted, ultimately picking up another coaching job with the United Arab Emirates club Al Wassel. Over the years, he has remained idolized in Argentina and around the world as one of the best players to have ever played the game.